Yeah, we're also very fortunate here in Cornwall that we have a, a very good peer support group that um, we're all able to meet every couple of months. The speaker may come along and give us that input or we can give them input into what's available or not available. Um, and that's what we all need. You know, my injury at the time, 37 years ago, was like, bye bye, get on with life. And um, you did keep in contact with people, and most people were up country. But this group here is very, very supportive and um, hopefully still continues in the future because, you know, spinal injuries for life, not just for Christmas. Um, so, yes, it's very, very good. And, we meet up occasionally and hopefully that will, expand it, will get expanded more in the future. I can't remember to how I heard about the group, it was quite a while back then. I think it, they used to hold meetings in this guard. Yeah. And when I retired from work, I was looking for something to do. And someone said to me, I think it might be David actually, uh, well we meet up every couple of months, won't come along. And that's how I got involved with it really. But. Um, I think the biggest thing you can say about the peer group really is, I remember when I was not first injured, I'd been injured about five years, and let's say we were living in a bungalow in Stump and of course lots of parents of Tetris live, live in their own homes around the hospital, and my wife had nursed many of them, so we had lots of friends who were paraplegics, quadriplegics, living on the road, and there was one couple who were both paraplegic, my wife, and I got to know him, and he, and he said to me, he said, do you know Steve, he said, you'll learn so much more from someone who's 10 years ahead of you than you ever will from anybody who can read books or be medically trained. You'll learn everything. I mean, he, he taught me to drive. He taught me all about the benefits he got. He taught me about everything, really. And I think that's what I get from the peer group, is that we all come with a strength. Um, we all come with a, an interest. Mm. And it might be like David likes to go fishing. And I said, well, how do you get the rod adapted? And he, he said, oh, do this, do that. And it's little things like that that you learn from other people that have experienced it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so invaluable. And that goes right from hobbies right down to your health, your personal health. You know, if you get a poor eye out of